Go. Hi, I'm Carmen Druckenmiller with Esborn Books and More, and my sons and I are going to be sharing some of our favorite books that we have right now. This is Jeremiah, he's nine, and this is Simon, he's eight. And we are going to start with Simon. Hi, this is about noodles. Um, it's about this eating monster that's eat his way um, in the hours box, and he likes to eat books. He likes to eat anything he sees, but the most of it, he likes to eat other people's stories. And they have Goldilocks and the three bears, and then um, Jack and the Beanstalk. And then we have um, this monster that um, you can hug and put him to bed. And it's really, um, you can squeeze it, and you can uh, give it to your child, and you can go to bed and um, watch out. It bites. And it plays with them, the terrible catastrophe, and, and it's really funny. It's about Penny, um, Penny Dreadful. Mistakes that she made a lot. She's made um, lots of catastrophes, and she's trying to put them right, but she hasn't. And so. And have you read Penny Dreadful? Yeah. Yeah. And, and what's this, your favorite part about it? I like it when she um, tries to build a thing of a rat, and the rat jumps up and then eats part of the course uh -huh. and there's three stories in one and you can read one chat one story each day or you can read three all but one day good so, job bye <laughs> all right jeremiah why don't you tell us about your some of your favorite books uh this is um this is Hey Jack and Billy B. Brown. These are beginner um, chapter books. Each one has three or four chapters, and Billy B. Brown and Jack are in the same. They're each in their in their in the in in they're in each other's books, and um, um, they're like different kinds. They have different sets of each one, so these are pretty cool too. These are owls and um, um, owls and your body, and these are books, um, beginner series books, and um, they tell you about animals and stuff. And this one is about your boss, and you can look it up. And, and the and the good thing about it is all the pages are in big print, so your kids can read those easier. And. And those are non-fiction books, right? Those are non-fiction right? books, mm -hmm. yes, they are. And this is, um, That's Not My Cow, and um, it's one of the touchy-feelies. Each one of them has a, um, a mouse on each page, on each double-sided page. And um, and you can, and it's for like toddlers and younger, and you can feel everything. And um, at the end, you'll see, that's my cow. Its tail is so fluffy, or something like that. Mm -hmm. And every time he says that at the end of the book, we have 20 kinds of these books. Mm -hmm. Here's a year in my life. It's a pretty nice book. You get to start on January 1st and end. It's all, you can do this all in one year. So it's a pretty neat book. Um, I've got some more there, and I'm getting pretty far. And I got it in February, so it's a pretty neat book. And what do you do in the book, Jeremiah? You like um, for number like this one, you get to like make yourself. You're doing like a news post or something, so mm -hmm. that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Like you were in the news. Good. So that's an activity book. That's an, that's what. And I'm you can start that one at any time. Yeah. 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 And you can do it, and and you can do that book over there, and you can start in any page you want. Even the last. This is one of our one of our new books, Olga da Polga. It's um, a 
guinea pig who gets adopted and um, he um, sh and she tells wise tales when she gets to the sawdust family and that there's um, different people that you'll different guys people you'll meet in it and if you take this out and look you'll find this funny little this this little cute um, front back part of it and you can just put it back on and that's all the to blow. There's and how many and how there's many chapters? And there's 12 chapters in here. And it's a pretty neat book. And um, this is our white queen books that we have. And they're pretty nice. This one is ABCs, 1, 2, 3. So if you, your kids are learning this, you can just let them trace the ABCs and 1, 2, 3s like this. They have all these pages to do and this you can wipe it off and this is just an activity book and we have this one you can just do dot to dots and mazes but we have different light times different kinds like telling time or spelling or stuff so it's a pretty neat set that we have right there and that's a wrap for me oh, good me. job uh, all right i this is uh, the set that actually made me decide to join S1 Books More. I had had a party because I wanted this set for free for my boys. They both learned how to read from this series. <clears throat> it's called the very first reading set. And as you can see, you get 15 books in the box set. They're nice hardbound books. And it starts out with Pirate Pat. And... It's a dual reader book where you will read this smaller print and then your child will read the bigger print. <clears throat> and one of the things that I really love about this series are the puzzles in the back because a lot of times children are more focused on learning the words than comprehending the story. And so these puzzles will help you to your child to comprehend the story and know the storyline behind it. And each one has three different puzzles in the back. And the answers are there also. And by book eight, which is Moon Zoom, uh, your child will be reading the entire book by themselves, which is great for their self-confidence. The next step up from that is Ted and Friends, which is a phonics book. This has 12 different phonics readers in one combined volume. It has a CD that also tells all the stories. And Stephen Cartwright is the illustrator for this, and he puts little duckies on every page that kids love to find. There are some fun flaps, and each individual phonics book is $6.99, um, but this, you can get 12 phonics for only $19.99, so that's a really great deal. The next step up from that, which is one of my favorite books, is The Complete Book of Farmyard Tales. And this is also a dual reader. Your child can read across the top of the page, and then you can read the bottom. It's another Stephen Cartwright book, so there are duckies hidden on every page. And it's all about the Boot family and Apple Tree Farm. And there's a neat map in the front, so as you're reading the stories, you can see where they're at located on the map. And this has 20 stories in it for only $24.99. Another popular fiction series that we have are our illustrated books. Um, these are all hardbound, but they're, they have like a soft cover, so kids really like to feel them. Um, this one is the Stories from Aesop. We also have original, like... Heidi and the Little Women, uh, Wind in the Willows, but they are great for readers that um, aren't quite ready for chapter books without pictures yet. There's some pages without pictures, but the, most of the pages do, and they're really fun stories, so check those out. We have some great encyclopedias, which are fantastic uh, homework helpers. This is our 
Science Encyclopedia. This is the hardbound book. Um, it's an internet link book, which means that you can go to our quick link webpage and put in the book that you are looking at and the page that you're on and it will give you even more information than what's on the pages. You can also see there are QR codes that you can scan with your phone if you have a smartphone. But our encyclopedias are filled with great information. The pictures are wonderful for kids. It really draws them in. And we have science, history, and geography encyclopedias. We also have some nonfiction chapter books. True Stories of Gangsters and Polar Adventures are some of our new ones. Each chapter is its own story. So like True Stories of Gangsters, you can read about Al Capone, Ned Kelly from Australia, um, Mafia Bosses, etc. So these are great. If you like activity books, uh, adult coloring books are all the rage right now. It's a great way to relax at the end of a long week, long day. This is one of them, India Patterns to Color. You can see there's a lot of different patterns. We also have mandalas to color, um, Mexican patterns to color, color by number books. All of them are great. And this is a step-by-step -step drawing book for um, art. And if you're like me and can't, can hardly draw stick people, this is wonderful because it teaches you step-by-step -step how to draw different people. And we have animals and just general step-by-step uh, -step drawing books as well. And finally, we have books for uh, older kids, junior high and high school. This is a brand new series from King Miller that just came out in January and called The Impossible Quest. And if your child likes anything to do with um, dragons and unicorns, things like that, they're going to love this series. There are five in the series, and it's all about um, finding these mythical creatures and saving the prisoners. And this one, Conspiracy 360, 365, has been around for a little while, but it's still one of our best sellers. Um, each book is about a different month. Cal Ormond right here has to live for one year while people are trying to kill him. And so each book is about one month closer that he gets. And they end with cliffhangers, so your child is going to want to keep reading them. And so this is a, just one of the great series that we have for older kids as well. So I would like to thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, just make a comment in the post below. And you can find all of these books and more at www.readingwithcarmen.com. And have a great day.